Learn PLC programming the easy way with XG5000 Instruction List Simulator. We'll show you how to simplify your PLC programming tasks and increase productivity. The XG5000 Simulator is part of the XG5000 PLC programming software. This powerful, completely free tool allows you to test and debug your PLC programs in a virtual environment without physical hardware. With its user-friendly interface and realistic simulation, we'll be able to learn PLC programming concepts quickly and easily. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced programmer, this will guide you through the basics of PLC programming using the XG5000 IL Simulator. So if you want to take your PLC programming skills to the next level, let's start and simulate our way to success. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. What is IL? Instruction List PLC Programming? Instruction List is one of the five standard PLC programming languages defined by the IEC 61131-3 standard. Although IL programming is regarded as the least popular programming language, this may change based on Regenerative Artificial Intelligence, or AI. Instruction List IL programming is text-based programming language similar to assembly code. IL can execute quickly, making it suitable for time-critical applications and where compact code is required. Using AI, we will create a standard stop-start circuit. Create a new project. Run the XG5000 programming software for the LS Electric PLC controllers. Under the main menu, Project, select New Project. This can also be selected using the shortcut key combination of Control plus N. There is also a new project icon on the main screen. The new project window will now be displayed. Give the project a name. The directory where this program can be stored will it can also be set. Under the PLC selection, select the PLC that we will be programming. The CPU series is an XGB IEC. The type is an XEM DXXXH2 and we will leave the default name as LS PLC. Under the programming heading, we will name the IL program and select IL IEC as the programming language. A project description can also be put in to the new project window to document what we are trying to do. Select OK. The new program that we named will now be displayed. This is where we will program our instruction list IL code. If we expand the program name under the project window, you can see the local variable list. IL programming commands can be seen in the help menu of the XG5000 programming software. We did a summary of these commands in our post XGB PLC instruction list first AI program. Note, as we program, ensure that you select save often. This can be done with the main page icon or main menu project save. Using Artificial Intelligence AI for IL PLC Instruction List Code Since IL is a text-based language that follows rules and guidelines, it is an ideal candidate for machine learning algorithms. ChatGPT is a powerful AI tool that can generate code in IL for our start-stop circuit. Select the Reason option in our AI interface. This will allow us to understand the logic behind our answer. Ask ChatGPT2 create a motor control program using IL programming. A momentary normally open push button will latch the motor output. A momentary normally closed stop push button will stop the motor. The user is asking to create a motor control program using IL programming. We want the start push button to latch the motor on and stop it with the stop push button, which is momentary and normally closed. In IL, the logic is simple. If the stop button is pressed, the motor turns off. If the start button is pressed, the motor activates and stays latched until the stop. I'll need to focus on how to implement this in the IL language. I'm thinking of using a latch coil or a rung with latching logic for the motor control. The IL code could look something like this. Thinking through the motor control structure, we want the start button to latch the motor on until the stop button is pressed. This typical setup involves a combination of normally open and normally closed contacts, which we can implement in IL using instructions like LD and and or. I'm now focusing on the correct IL code for motor controller behavior. Here's what I've come up with. This reflects the desired logic. First, evaluate I underscore start or M, then in it with I underscore stop, and finally store the result to M. This ensures that M is latched correctly, and the motor will stop if the stop button is pressed, regardless of any prior state. After my tests, this approach avoids the unwanted behavior of leaving the motor running. Below is one acceptable solution in IL. In this example, I underscore start is the input from the momentary normally open start push button. I underscore stop is the input from the momentary normally closed stop push button. It is true when not pressed. 
Q underscore motor is the motor output. The logic is, the motor will be energized if I underscore start is pressed, or if it is already on latching. But only if I underscore stop is not pressed. When I underscore stop is pressed, IE becomes false. The output is de-energized. Explanation. LD I underscore start. Loads the value of the start button. When the button is pressed, I underscore start becomes true. Or Q underscore motor. Combines the start button with the current state of the motor output. This latches the motor so that once it's on, it stays on. And I underscore stop. The result is andied with the stop button status. Since I underscore stop is normally true, it will only be false. And thus to energize the motor, when the stop push button is pressed. STQ underscore motor. The final result is stored in Q underscore motor. This means the motor will be on if either the start was pressed or it is already running. And the stop button has not been pressed. This IL code achieves the desired motor control function. ChatGPT did a good job. We can now copy this IL program and paste it into the coding block in our XG5000 programming software. You will see that every instruction in the program is documented. This ensures that we understand what the code is trying to accomplish. Create the variable list. We have the instruction list code, but now have not defined the variables we will be using. Under the project window in the LSPLC, double click local variables. This will call up our local variables window in our program. We can now enter the variables that AI has generated for our IL PLC code. Copy the start, stop, and motor variables into the variable chart. All of these variables are Boolean. This means that they are either on or off, one or zero, or true or false. Save the program. Start the XG5000 simulator. The PLC simulator can be started by selecting the Start Stop Simulator icon on the main menu. This can also be started by the main menu Tool Start Simulator. The XG Sim window will represent the LS Electric PLC we choose to program. Our XG5000 PLC software will be shown with a communication to the simulator. This is the red bar at the bottom of the XG5000 programming software. The Write to PLC window will automatically be displayed. XG5000 software treats the simulator like a PLC controller and you must establish communication and transfer the program. We will leave all the default settings the same and select OK. Our instruction list IL start stop circuit will be loaded into the PLC simulator. The XG5000 write complete message will be displayed, select OK. The PLC simulator will be placed automatically in run mode. This is indicated by the green bar at the bottom of the XG5000 software. Close this check program window by selecting the X in the top right corner. Our program is now being executed in the simulator. We can change the font size of the text on the screen by using the zoom in and out on the main menu. You can also start stop the scan of the program in a simulator by using the icons on the main menu. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription tax to receive those notifications. Monitoring and testing the instruction list IL code. We can use the PLC simulator's monitoring and troubleshooting tools to observe the behavior of our IL PLC program. The monitor icon is automatically turned on when you use the PLC simulator. We can display the inputs and outputs we want to monitor using the monitoring windows. Selecting the IL code or variables is an easy way to add the variables to the monitor list. Once the variables or code are highlighted, select Add from the main menu, Monitor, Add to Variable Monitor. This can also be done by right-clicking on the highlighted variables or code, selecting Add the Variable Monitor, and then choosing the monitor number. Our selected variables will now be displayed on the monitor number. We can change the input variables and observe our program behavior by double-clicking on them. Adjustments can be made in the program using XG5000 when issues or errors are discovered. We can create and save the necessary changes to our IL programming code offline or online and update the code again.
Using the PLC simulator in the XG5000 programming software for instruction list, IL effectively tests and debug PLC programs without physical hardware. This provides a safe and efficient environment to validate your logic and ensure proper operation before deploying it into the real-world applications. By following the steps outlined, you can harness the power of the PLC simulator by streamlining your development process and deliver reliable PLC programs. Now that you know more about the XG5000 PLC simulator for IL programming, click here to learn more about entering and modifying your IL code. To see all the posts and videos for the XGB PLC, click here.